Did All Might really just go from the top hero into becoming the top number one dad? So what's up guys, Fox in here. After that United States of Smash from All Might last episode, how is everyone gonna deal with the symbol of peace being gone? More importantly, last episode it seems like everyone was in tears. But even this episode got some more out of me. So let's talk about it, that whole scene was Deku, All Might, and Deku's mother. Recall that phone call Deku had with his mother a little while ago? This episode, that came out in full force. Seeing just how badly Deku's gotten hurt, all the trouble that villains are causing now, and now with the symbol of peace gone, it really is unsurprising that Deku's mom doesn't want him to return. While watching this, it almost seemed like they were trying to make her seem like the bad guy here. But let's be honest, she's not wrong. It really does come down to her mother being worried about her kid. I really have to appreciate seeing this being tackled in the Shonen series. Usually in other Shonen series, the parents are always non-existent, or they just avoid addressing this altogether. Here, it felt really real. Another thing I really appreciated was actually something from Deku. It really seemed like he was just running away, and this followed by him just being mad at his mom. But no, this was different. Deku actually accepted his mother's request. Surprisingly, he was totally fine with still being a hero, even if it was at a different school. And then the part that actually had me at tears, which was All Might's little speech or request there. All Might has officially become the ultimate dad for Deku. He's now choosing to dedicate the rest of his life to not only training, but raising Deku. Which a little bit of a side note, it just makes you wonder about Deku's actual dad. Sure, he's overseas. Right. Speaking of which, I do have to mention that awesome All Might scene at the beach. The guy could still text his smash. The whole scene caught me off guard, I was just laughing. I'm really just glad to see this growing relationship from Deku and All Might. All Might going from this idol figure, to his mentor, and now his father figure. Let's see what happens next. As we're getting more into All Might, we also do get a spotlight on the previous one for all holder, Nana. So let me touch on this a little bit. So from this episode, it turns out that she put her son Shigaraki in foster care. Which somewhere along the line led to Shigaraki getting corrupted by All For One. This really just had me wondering, did Nana get the one for all power far later in her life? I mean, just think about it, compared to Deku and All Might, it seems like Nana was already a mother at that time. Otherwise, it would just be strange for her to have a kid. For example, take a look at All Might in comparison. All Might seems to have given everything up. The dude literally cannot have a normal life. He dedicated his whole life to being a hero 100% of the time. In other words, no time for romance or lovers or starting a family. In all, there still is a mystery regarding this whole situation regarding Nana. Hopefully they shed more light into this. Of course, all of this leads into All Might still wanting to help Shigaraki. So about this, unfortunately at this point that hand dude is way too far gone. If by some chance All Might meets him in this state, he would unfortunately be turned to freaking dust. At this point, All Might should honestly spend all his time on that one person he is still responsible for, which is raising the new one for all, Deku. As for others this episode, let me talk about Endeavor. So the previous number two has taken the number one spot by default. Keep in mind this is the guy that abused his family and dedicated his entire life for that one goal. All of a sudden his purpose got taken away from him. So the whole outcome and drama behind this is pretty juicy. It actually reminds me a lot of Bakugo after he won that past tournament. The question that remains after this episode, will Endeavor be able to recover? What do you think he'll do moving forward? Next up, I gotta touch on Bakugo and his family this episode. From all of the visits, I gotta love Bakugo's mother the best. She really just seems like a female version of Bakugo. Or perhaps really that's where he gets it from. Funny enough, it seems that Bakugo's mom is already extremely popular online. People just love the mothers. So like I mentioned, this is where Bakugo gets it from. Since the father seems super calm, or rather timid. In all, it seems that Bakugo's mom was totally fine with the new dorm system. Or I was just thinking, they should really just want Bakugo out of their house. By the way, since I'm curious, is Bakugo's mother also popular for you? But back to Bakugo. You did have this short, brief interaction between Bakugo and All Might. So you got Bakugo once again asking about Deku to All Might. Right here, Baku totally knows what's going on. You've seen how smart he is. He's definitely smart enough to have done all the math on it. At this point, Bakugo is aware he's just being lied to. Anyway, as for the ending, hopefully you notice this parallel between All Might and All For One. Both of these two ended their eras with the line. Next is your turn. This of course, bringing back the parallel of the master passing the torch to their student. Although what's different here is their method. All Might is still around to help guide Deku into becoming the next one for all, and hopefully symbol of peace. 
while All For One has taken a different approach. All For One has suddenly been erased from Shigaraki's life, which is going to help bring motivation to him in a different way. Let's see how that develops. It definitely seems like Shigaraki wants some revenge in there at the end. But do notice, either way, All For One can stay locked up forever. But anyway, let me hear from you now. Question of the day. Were there any more tears from you this episode from Deku's mom and All Might's interaction? And what do you think about how the whole situation was handled? Was Deku's mom being overly protective? And also, what do you think about the parallel between All Might and All For One? Which one of them makes for the better master and student relationship? Anyway, be sure to text us, smash that thumbs up, and subscribe. You can watch 5 plus anime videos here every week. Right now, every weekend, I'm covering My Hero Academia Season 3, Darling in the Franks, and the SAO GGO spinoff. Recently, I did start reviewing the My Hero Academia manga every week. My latest video on that is up. Definitely check it out, and I'll see you guys later.